discussion today during the congressional hearings, uh, calling on the former emergency managers as well as yourself to testify during those hearings. Is that something that you can Yeah, the first thing is, is I haven't even been invited to testify. So if that comes about, then I'll seriously look at that issue. Can you reiterate, if, if asked to come, you will show up? Well, again, I haven't been invited. That's a question I'll address when I am invited. Democrats on the House Oversight Committee, led by Ranking Member Elijah Cummings of Maryland, they repeatedly asked why Chairman Jason Chaffetz hadn't invited Governor Snyder to come tell his side of the story. The problem is that today we are missing the most critical witness of all, the governor of the state of Michigan, Rick Snyder. He is not here. Governor Snyder was a driving force behind Michigan's emergency manager law, which he signed in 2011 and invoked to take over the city of Flint from his local elected leaders. The governor handpicked appointees to run the city, and they decided to use water from the Flint River. We asked the chairman to invite him today, but he would not. We asked the chairman to give us a date in the future for a hearing with Governor Snyder, but he would not. Congressman Elijah Cummings and all of his fellow committee Democrats invoked a House rule that they say requires the committee to schedule another hearing and to invite the witnesses that the Democrats want to hear from. They want to hear from not only the governor, but also the three emergency managers that he appointed to run the city of Flint, since they were the ones calling the shots as the lead poisoning crisis unfolded. The citizens in Flint were assured for 18 months that the water was safe. My home was being tested because of the discoloration of my water and the health issues my family was experiencing. We fought the city and the state saying there was something wrong and we were dismissed. I started doing independent testing with Virginia Tech and 30 tests were done, tests that were performed in accordance to the LCR. My average was 2,500 parts per billion. My highest was 13,500 parts per billion. Hazardous waste is 5,000. Regardless of this information and the fact that my son had lead poisoning, the city and the MDEQ still continue to tell everyone the water was safe as the EPA sat by and watched in silence. I urge you to help restore some of the trust lost and protect all the citizens in the United States by never allowing this to happen again. We need this to happen now, not 10 years from now. Thank you. Congress, for their part, they're still thinking about whether or not they might want to help. Uh, water is still testing at thousands of parts per billion in Flint homes. The lead pipes in Flint are all still in the ground, and there's still no door-to-door -door distribution of clean water in that city. Still. Are you fully staffed up in terms of school nurses, for example, we, in terms of special ed? We, terms are, of we are not. We are blessed enough to have a health navigator that uh, allows our parents to make connections with the community, but we do not have a school nurse. You our, do not have a school nurse? We do not. None of our schools do. Usually that responsibility falls on our secretaries. I give medications. We're trained to do certain things. Again, we make do with the staff that we have who are devoted to serving our children. Flint Community Schools do not have school nurses right now. We do not. We have one at our district level. One for all the schools? Yes, ma'am. One for the entire district. 6,000 kids, nine elementary schools, one nurse total in a community where all the kids in town need extra support and medical monitoring and attention because they were all just exposed to lead-poisoned tap water. January 21st of last year, state officials came to Flint City Hall to assure the people of Flint at a public meeting that they were totally on top of any problems with Flint's water. Flint residents who came to that meeting you know, shouted questions and complaints at the state officials. They held up jugs of brown water. One of the water treatment experts from the Snyder administration told the people of Flint, told people in that room that they should, quote, hang in there. But what those Snyder administration officials did not tell the Flint residents at that town meeting was that two weeks earlier, the state government had started shipping bottled water to the state office building in Flint. The Snyder administration had started shipping coolers of purified water to the state workers at the state office building in Flint so at least they wouldn't have to drink Flint's tap water. The Detroit Free Press first reported this story today based on state government emails released by the liberal group Progress Michigan. 
quote, uh, DTMB, which stands for the Department of Technology Management and Budget. It's a state agency that oversees state office buildings. DTMB is in the process of providing a water cooler on each occupied floor positioned near the water fountain so you can choose which water to drink. The coolers will arrive today and will be provided as long as the public water does not meet treatment requirements. January of last year. The Rick Snyder administration all last year was telling the people of Flint that everything was fine. Everything was under control. There was no danger from their tap water. But the people who actually worked for the Snyder administration at the state office building in Flint, they were getting sent clear, clean, purified water to drink. Everybody else in Flint, hang in there. Amazing. I think we've gotten the chairman in the position and the Republicans in the position to show that their policies of austerity and, uh, and not investing in infrastructure and not uh, trying to make sure that the uh, people of Flint were taken care of with regard to their water uh, problems uh, shows when, if this is what Republican uh, success is all about, then the country is in deep trouble. The other thing, last but not least, uh, during the hearing, I complained that we had people in Flint that were paying for water that they could not drink and could not wash in. And why were they paying for that water? While we were in the hearing, the governor made a decision to try to, to give back 47% of all the money that the people had paid in bills. I told him hmm. th on TV, that's not good enough.